Well, it's clear as we look to the east from 72nd and Crown Point. Not as chilly as yesterday morning. Still hanging on to 49 at the airport. Winds out of the south at about 10 miles an hour. And that dry dew point in the low 40s is going to help keep rain out of here at least through the start of Wednesday. Temperatures, upper 40s, low 50s in the metro, as cool as 42 in Wahoo. So there are some isolated cooler spots, especially southwest and southeast of Omaha. You can see a few high thin clouds off to our north early this morning. You might see a few more of those this afternoon. Otherwise, more sun in the forecast today. Temperatures right around 50 at 7 o'clock, near 60 at 10. Tack on another 10 degrees heading into the afternoon with highs in the low 70s in Nebraska. South winds, they might be gusting up to 30 miles an hour at times. So storm predictor, it's going to run today. You can see all the sun that we're going to see. You can't see the winds. Remember, it is going to be on the blustery side. Becoming partly cloudy overnight. Now remember, it's still very dry air around here. So the green that you see tomorrow morning, probably not reaching the ground. It's tomorrow afternoon where you have the better chance of seeing some scattered rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, especially southeast of the Omaha Metro, probably a sprinkle in Douglas and Sarpy County on Wednesday afternoon. But better chance for rain, even a few rumbles of thunder as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. As far as snow goes, once again, no concerns in the KETV viewing area of accumulating snow. But there could be a, an early season blizzard across parts of the Dakotas, maybe even the panhandle of Nebraska Thursday and heading into Friday. So if you have travel plans in that direction Thursday or Friday, pay attention and alter them as needed. We're still mild until that front comes through on Thursday. Highs in the upper 60s early Thursday afternoon. And windy and much colder late in the day. Wind chills stay in the 20s all the way through Friday. We might get our first freeze Saturday morning and then some cool fall weather by the end of the weekend.